thanks to God for all reasons and all things. And one of the things, one of the new additions to the hall since um, Faith and I arrived on this island has been this lectern, our holiness table, and our mercy seats. Now everything had been delayed due to the pandemic. So they should have been here before we arrived. The car that we ordered should have been fitted before we had our first meeting in the hall. But none of that happened. But it was really nice to find out that, well, we, we celebrate that today, but it was really nice to find out that the mercy seat had been designed and built by our friend at the back of our core in Chester Street, Ray. And we thank him and our friends Ray and Julia for coming and delivering these to us on the island. The fact is, the mercy seat is just a piece of furniture. It doesn't possess any powers and it shouldn't be an idol in our hall. However, what it represents is a place where we can intentionally come and meet with God. This is not a place of judgment, but it is a safe place to come and bring your all, your everything to God. And today, on our Vision and Commitment Sunday, we would like to begin our focus on prayer and the mercy seat over the next few weeks. Obviously, we need to adhere to social distancing those in the building, but we want to encourage you to use this place of prayer, to not be frightened by appearances, but to come forward and kneel at the mercy seat, to come and stand at the holiness table, or to sit at our extension of our mercy seat at the side and spend some time with God. We will explore, as I say, over the next few weeks and more about this. And I think it really is important that we understand the meaning behind some of the heritage so we can further explore the meaning and what that place represents. But this is the place that is, is designed to be used. It's not just an ornament to be looked at. So this week, to explain it a bit more, Faith asked Ian um, to just do a bit of reading of the background of the mercy seat, his biblical basis, um, and asked him to bring his thoughts on that this week. So we thank Ian for all that he's done in putting his thoughts of the week together. And we're going to listen to what he has to say to us 